to get started with today, I'm probably going to, I am, I'm going to cut this video uh, separate from the door videos because this has a little bit to do with creating the door, but uh, it's very specific. So what I'm going to make is uh, I've seen these little rollers for plasma cutting torches, and I've noticed as I drag my torch, if it gets a little caught up on whatever I'm next to, um, it, uh, it kind of jumps a little bit and it makes the lines not look perfectly straight. But anyway, I'm getting ready to cut a bunch of curvy lines and things like that, and I really need something for it to roll on because when I try and freehand it, it just, it's like this. It's shaky. No good. So, I cut out a little plate here that I can bolt to uh, my plasma cutting torch and I bought two pizza slicers. These were the closest thing I could find to what the pictures look like of what other what uh, they sell. So we're going to see if these work. Hopefully they do. I'm going to cut them apart and I'm going to weld them onto here. So we're going to have two wheels. So I got two pizza slicers. We're going to have two wheels. So they'll be, you know, kind of like this. And then I've got a, uh, a nut that I tapped with a thumb screw. And over uh, across the garage, I've got some all thread and some nuts and some other things. And we're going to make a little pivot for it so that I can cut circles. Um, we'll see how this all comes together here as I get it welded up. Okay, we've got our first pizza cutter wheel. And it measures out just perfect. I've got, uh, oh, there it goes. On the plasma cutter, this is the orientation this is going to go, so the torch goes in here. Um, from here to the tip is exactly two inches. So I'm making, hang on. Ooh, that's way down there. I'm making this here. Uh, whoop, there we go. I'm making this to here two and a sixteenth inches. So it's going to be a sixteenth, so the torch will be able to float a sixteenth above the work surface so it doesn't drag on anything. So now that I've made this one, I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, take our little pizza slicer, get it out of the packaging. That's first. Uh... Come on, buddy. Then uh, basically we want to get our gloves on so we protect our hands. <clears throat> and we're gonna
Okay. Now we gotta bend some metal. There we go. Now, I want to make sure I hit this in the right place, so... There we go. Now we'll take this and make sure that it meets the uh, tight Greg Porter requirements uh, for tolerance. I'm sure that it does. Okay, we've got our uh, cheapo Home Depot uh, gauge, and it looks like we are dead on the money there for what we want. So now we got to get to welding these two bad boys on there. See how that goes, huh? Is it all making sense now? Gonna roll nice. Can you see that? There we go. Gonna roll nice. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get this chrome cleaned off, and then we'll. Uh, get these welded on. I took my bolt that I'm going to use sort of as a pin to go around and I tapped and threaded the bottom of it uh, for a quarter, to quarter 20 uh, Allen head so that I can hopefully drill a little hole and find it. First, before we cut anything, we're going to take a little tour. Uh, here's the post, right? So I got a bolt that was long enough that it had a smooth shank up to the point where it would be level with this guy. And then I can just kind of stack nuts and washers to make it level and make everything work. And I welded a couple quarter 20 nuts to it, some all thread, so I can change the dimension of this thing. What's really kind of cool is with quarter 20, you can just count 20 revolutions is... Uh, an inch so you can measure things kind of accurately if you're off an eighth of an inch you know uh, that that is uh, what two turns I don't know something like that how about half an inch is ten turns <laughs> there we go now I feel smarter so a quarter of an inch would be five turns eighth of an inch two and a half so anyway and you can flip it over so you can do half turns you can go on the back side no big deal uh, so we've got our thing mounted up there, our torch, and by the way, I misspoke a long time ago. I said I had a thermodynamics, I have a hypertherm. Uh, I don't remember who I told that to, but I have a hypertherm. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to jock you up here. I'm actually late uh, getting ready for a meeting, but sometimes uh, when you do a little project like this, you got an itch that the only way it can be scratched is to finish the project. Uh, so, unfortunately, sometimes people fall into the aftermath uh, of my brain itches. I've got to move this out of the way so I can get around. And uh, I'm probably going to be late for my meeting, but I feel like this is, uh, for me, a little bit more important today. Here we go.
gonna take a set one. Let's try that. but I wanted to get this video up <clears throat> so people could see uh, what what we did um, before before the night expires hang on <clears throat> so kind of what my lesson was was that uh, I needed to uh, tilt tilt this guy more like this. Like that. So let's take a look. <coughs> Maybe. Hang on. I got all kinds of things in motion here. <coughs> there we go. So more like this, less like this. And, uh, you know, kind of the closer that thing got, uh, the better our cut was around here. So this is right where I started. Uh, we had a little issue here. But as I finished up, um, here you know, on the back side it was nice and smooth so I would suspect if I keep a little more consistent distance from the gun to the target everything would be good so anyway regardless what we'll do is we'll uh, grind this down get it nice and smooth and uh, do it to it but the bottom line is <coughs> you know wow that's kind of funny um, the pizza, pizza slicers here are going to be awesome when we start following all these wonky lines that go around here. Uh, these are going to help tremendously in uh, kind of doing these funny shapes and, and all that stuff and hopefully take away the, the standard wiggle uh, that's in my hands when I do the plasma cutting. So there we go. 
uh, that's all for this and since this is not a uh, full-on door episode this is a tool uh, episode I'm going to give you my standard exit don't let